Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you guys through just a day in my life. We have a couple of things on the schedule right now. I'm going to go to a coffee shop and do some prep work for my classroom because basically I kind of start in like two and a half weeks which is so soon and I don't feel prepared at all. So I kind of need to really get going and like start working every day on little things for my classroom. And then we're gonna go to the grocery store. This is just a very typical like day with what I do during the summer when obviously I'm not working but I have things to prepare. So it's very like chill and then also I'm gonna go to the gym later this afternoon. Oh, there's my mom, she's coming with us today. Hello. Look how cute she is. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that's the plan for today. So let's just get going. Okay, so we just finished having some coffee and breakfast at this really cute little place that we've never been to before, but literally every place today is Monday, and all of these places like in this downtown area are closed except for this one place. I really think no other coffee shop is open, mm -hmm. um, but we stayed there and did some work for a little while. I figured out a couple of things that I want to do for the first day, so for the first day of kindergarten, so I found a self-portrait that they can do the first day and like write their name, so I think that'll be super cute just as like a little activity to have them do. I'm thinking that that I'm gonna have morning work for them, which is just gonna be like a little coloring sheet for them to color when they come into class. And then I'll probably do like a morning meeting on the rug. And then I'm trying to figure out, I want to do like read aloud book with them and then do like crafts that have to do with the book that has something to do with like the first day of school. So I'm still trying to figure that out. But right now we are going to go to- Salvation Army. Salvation Army. And then Sprouts. And then Sprouts. We're gonna go to Salvation Army because I really want to get some books for my classroom because I have like five, but books are really, really expensive. Each book could be like $10 to $15 if you buy new books from like Barnes and Nobles and stuff like that. So I wanted to see if I could find any books at like thrift stores. So hopefully we can find something so that I'm not spending like a million dollars on books. But after that, we're gonna go to Sprouts to get some groceries. That was a big bump to get some groceries for the week and then I have a craft thing that I need to do when I get home some more printing laminating and cutting things so that's the plan Okay, it is time for a haul of all of the books. Everything that I'm gonna show you told it out to be $14, which is really good for all of the things that I got. I'm planning in my class like on Fridays just to have like different games that the students can play at the end of the day just to have fun on Fridays. So I found this game, it's called Hoot Owl Hoot. And they basically have to like match colors and just, I mean, it's just for fun. It was only $1. I found these which are like brand new, like they're not opened yet and they're beach balls. And I've seen a lot of games that you can play with beach balls. Like you can write things on the beach ball and like throw it and they catch it and then it'll land on like a question or you can even do that with kindergarten with sight words like you throw it and whatever wherever their hand lands they need to read that sight word is probably what I'm going to use it for so I'm excited about these and then all of the books I'm not going to show you every single book that I got but basically like you can tell that these books are still in like pretty good condition I have smaller books which I'm going to leave in like a reading corner for them to read so like I thought this one was really cute. It's called 10 Wriggly Wiggly Caterpillars and it has like cutouts in it. So I feel like it's good for the students to read on their own time. And then like I have so many books. I'm so excited because it was so inexpensive. It's, I feel like this is so helpful for first year teachers who have like zero library for their classroom. And I also found a couple of books that I will read to them that are a little more challenging and that can just be like story of time books that I can read as the teacher. So many books. I have more books. I don't know if you guys know of these books. These, these come like in a series and I found two of them. So head to your local thrift store and see if you can find any books if you're trying to build um, your own library like from scratch so that you save so much money. I'm gonna show you guys like this is how many books there, how many books are there in total? Can we count them? Or not? There's just so many, so many. Okay, 
Okay, I have just finished adding my little teacher, who does this book belong to? What are those called? Like book tags to my books that I just got. I'm gonna head to the gym now. I'm gonna do a quick workout, nothing like too crazy. I wanna do some cardio today and abs. And then today is technically like chest try day. So I'll probably do like push ups and a couple of dumbbell things. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then come back home and work on a project that I will tell you guys about. But this is the outfit for the gym today. Basically what I was wearing today, except I have this Gymshark shirt on. This outfit is from Target. It's very cute. I feel like I'm gonna like completely sweat through it though. So that will be interesting, um, but I will be back. I just got back from the gym. I discovered while I was at this gym that this outfit, it is not sweat proof. I literally like took off my shirt and tucked it behind my pants because I had so much sweat happening. I was so embarrassed, but I figured out the situation. I'm gonna have a snack right now and I figured I'd show you guys like a nice healthy snack. Um, it's so simple, so easy. Just some carrots with hummus. I'm gonna eat dinner. It's like six o'clock right now. We'll probably eat at seven, but I really needed a snack to like hold me over until then. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Then we're gonna have dinner. Okay, so for dinner we're having, is this technically Spanish food? Yeah, or no? It's like a, it's like a beef stew, beef stew con with papitas. potatoes and Arrocito. yellow rice and a salad that's kind of Greek salad. So, yum. I'm gonna explain what this is for quickly. Basically, I'm going to make this for my literacy centers, um, like reading centers, writing, more writing centers. Um, and I'm gonna make, each color is just like for a different kid basically. So when they do their centers, they're each gonna have, I'm gonna cut out each of these letters so that they can practice making words like with vocabulary and just like play some games with it. So I need to cut all of these laminate them and cut them again. So this is gonna take a while, but I will be back with the finished product. Good morning guys. It is the next day. I'm gonna make a green smoothie. So I'm gonna show you guys what I put in my green smoothies. I bought this supplement thing from a brand called Tropica. You definitely do not need this in order to make a green smoothie. It was just like, I was being extra and I really wanted it. It actually tastes really good, which I've tried other greens before and they tasted like dirt, like pond dirt water. This tastes delicious. Um, it's called Superfood Greens Plus D and it has, I'll show you guys the back so you can read it. It has alfalfa grass, barley grass, wheat grass, lemon juice powder, kale, something extract, some things I can't pronounce, spirulina, and a lot of things that are good for you. And it's sweetened by stevia, which I am not a person that loves the taste of stevia, but in this, like, I don't really taste it. So let me show you how I make it. I don't just put it in water because I just think I, I can't handle it that way. Um, but let me show you what I do to make a yummy green smoothie. Now, this is enough for like two people who are pretty hungry. Yum, 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 yum. It's so good. Also, you don't taste the avocado at all. It might sound gross putting it in there, but like you don't taste it and it's a really good source of healthy fats that will like keep you satiated throughout the day. And I added a tiny bit of, this is the same brand that I'm like trying out. I think I'm just not a big fan of like protein taste, but it's really like, it tastes good. It tastes fine. So I just put a little bit of this in there just to add some more protein, but I also added Greek yogurt. So Greek yogurt is like a super good source of protein. And then to make it a little bit sweeter, you have the banana, you have the mango chunks. I never mix like the greens with any other type of fruit except banana and mango because I don't like the way it tastes. If you want it a little bit sweeter, which like I like sweet things, I added a little bit of honey. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this.
Delicious. Very good. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here, but my next vlog is going to be kind of like a little haul of the things that I ordered on the Amazon Prime deal for my classroom because our district gives us a certain amount of money to spend on our classroom, which is not enough to get everything that I need. Um, but I will show you guys what I'm getting and what I plan to use everything for. So that's gonna be more of a sit down video. So look forward to that coming. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.